Hello everyone, this is Tyler with My Computer Works. And today, as you can see from the background, we're doing something a little bit different, okay? No virtual background today. I want you to see everything that's happening in real time as it happens, up close and personal. And that's because today we are going to be removing, we're gonna be taking out some hardware from our computers. More uh, specifically, or more exact, we're going to be taking out the solid state drive from this laptop. So this is a relatively newer computer, relatively newer laptop made within the last five to six years. So it's gonna have newer hardware inside of it, which means a solid state drive, okay? And so I'm gonna show you on a newer laptop, uh, you know, relatively newer in technology terms, how to remove a solid state drive. And then on an older laptop, maybe you're rocking an older laptop, <laughs> like this guy right here. This is a Toshiba satellite. These things were absolute beasts. If you know, you know, maybe you remember absolute tanks, okay? This one, we are going to be removing the hard drive, okay? Because some of these older laptops, like this beast right here, had a hard drive inside of it. Back when we had the you know spinning plate in there and all that. Oh, okay, that thing is heavy, guys. So we're going to be removing the hard drive from that thing and from this much newer, smaller laptop, we're going to be removing the solid state drive. OK, and the purpose for this, as you probably saw from the thumbnail and the title of the video, is we're going to be putting it. Let me grab one of my enclosures here. So this is a solid state drive enclosure. And over there, I have a hard drive enclosure. Now, the whole point of this video is to show you how to remove those drives so they can then go inside of these enclosures. This is again, solid state drive enclosure. I have a hard drive enclosure over here. I'll show you in a minute, it's a little bit bigger. And uh, yeah, you put your drives in there, plug it into your computer, and then I'm gonna show you how to get the data off of those old drives that you thought you lost because your maybe your computer's not turning on, has other major issues, you can't get it to work. I'm gonna show you how to pull the drives out, put those drives into your computer via an enclosure, and then get the data back, okay? So hopefully by the end of this video, I'm gonna be your savior on this one if you're able to follow the uh, the instructions, okay? And if you are able to follow the instructions and do uh, what I show in this video, if you're able to remove a drive, put it in an enclosure, and get your data back, I wanna hear about it, I wanna know. So put a comment down below. Let me know if this video worked out for you, if you were able to accomplish what I show in this video, and uh, if you were able to get your data back, because I love that, I do that here a lot at my computer works we get uh, try to help people get their data back with these enclosures um, or other means if they really really need the data it might be you might be better off sending it to a data recovery center so real quick i want to stop and talk about that before you start this process before you follow my instructions to remove your drives and stick them into an enclosure if the data is something that you absolutely cannot lose if you need that data and you have to have it or it's just, you know, you cannot replace it, you may be better off going with a data recovery center because of course, with anything during this process, something could go wrong, the drive could get more damaged or corrupt. Uh, and so I don't want that to happen. So if that's the case, you can either reach out to us here, we can help you get in contact with like Gilware or a data, con uh, data center, or tell you, you know, if it's the right move or what's the best move for you and uh, definitely reach out to us. Our number is always down below in the description, beginning of the video, end of the video, if you need to call us to get help with this, if what you see in the video is too much to handle, okay? While you're down there, please hit that like and subscribe if you're gonna drop a comment, but yes, tell me if this works for you, because I'd love to hear it, okay? But before I get to ranting anymore, let's jump into it. Let's start with the newer computer, because a lot of people are going to be coming off of this style laptop at this time. And so we'll start here, okay? Now, as you can see, there are a bunch of small screws on these style laptops on the bottom, okay? So our first goal is going to be to just use a uh, screwdriver, nothing too intense, okay? No power tools here, no impacts needed. Uh, they do make specialized power tools. If you know, you're not good with your fingers, they're low impact for computers specifically. I, however, I go with the old school just, you know, just a good old screwdriver, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna remove all of these small screws around the bottom, okay? So give me one moment while I knock that out.
Okay, so now that I have all the screws loosened or out from the bottom of the laptop, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a smaller um, flat tool here. Not, I'm not gonna be super invasive. I'm not gonna jam it in, but I'm gonna very carefully start on the corner and you could hear that, you hear that? So that is it. There's little plastic pins in there. They come apart and the bottom comes off, okay? And then that's how we access the inside, okay? And if you wanna see the inside real quick, I can go over some of this here. We've got our RAM stick over here and here on the side, usually covered. A lot of times you're going to see it's going to be covered by like a heat shield. This one is covered by a heat shield and that is the solid state drive under there. Okay, so I'm going to hold that up very carefully so everybody can see on the side right there. Solid state drive right there. Okay, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my screwdriver again. There is a small screw, I'll show, one more time, I'll show this. There is a small screw that holds the solid state drive into the computer. You can see it right there, okay? And so I'm gonna remove that very quickly. And again, all of these screws, guys, are not, they're not super tight. It's not something that you have to worry about having to force out. They come out pretty easy, okay? So like right there, I just lightly turned. I'm going to remove the heat shield, okay? And remove the SSD, okay? So that is the SSD right there, okay? All right, so now that we have that out of the computer, we're going to take this and we're going to put it inside our enclosure, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with these enclosures, they can be purchased online. I got both of mine, both my hard drive and my solid state drive uh, enclosure from Amazon cheap cheap uh, Amazon buys they work they're fine they're great okay so it slides open like this okay so the shielding comes off I take my drive and I gently insert it in there's only one way to really insert it in it's grooved so you can't really mess that up it's gonna go in the way it's supposed to and then there is a little screw that holds the drive down while it's being uh you know used in this this sleeve okay so i have it in i'll show again on the bottom down there it just slides right in it's grooved and we slide the shield in okay simple as that now it's ready to be plugged into my computer okay that's what we're good right there. That part goes into my computer and I'll be able to pull data off of this drive, okay? But before we get to that, let me go ahead and show you how to pull the drive out of this older Toshiba laptop in case you have an older machine, okay? So that was how to pull out the solid state drive, get it inside the enclosure. It is now in there. We're gonna move over to the hard drive and I'm gonna show you how to pull that one out, okay? All right, it's gonna be a little bit harder to hold this one up for the camera, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay, this one has an access panel uh, over here on the side that is specifically for the hard drive. However, even some of these older laptops have where you have to pull the whole thing off. But a lot of them had access panels, okay? Especially these old Toshibas, they had an access panel specifically for the hard drive, okay? And so I am going to simply take my screwdriver. Yeah, I can hold it up while we do this. That's right, guys. We are getting our work out in today. Okay, so now that I've loosened the screen on the door, it's got like a little finger slot, okay? Very easily just kind of pulled that out. And there's the hard drive, okay? This big disc type thing, okay? And so what we can do is just slide that right out. Oh, this one is mounted, be careful. I can actually see a mount screw there. So I'm going to undo that first. Probably the hardest screw out of all the ones I've done so far. Um, but yeah, and that's because this thing was made 25 years ago. All right. And now it came right out. So once I got that screw, I was able to pop the drive out. And there it is, the drive. This one is actually inside of a, um, inside of like a, like a holder, a case here. A, um, a tray is the technical term. So it's inside of a tray. And uh, I will have to get the tray off before I stick it inside of my enclosure, I believe. Let's see. This is the hard drive enclosure. So you saw the smaller solid state drive 
enclosure. This is a hard drive enclosure. This one slides like that. Okay, see that? And then the drive can go in there. I know it's a little dark in the room today, but you can get an idea. And the hard drive slides right in. I will have to remove this tray, okay? And that's gonna be done by just taking the screws out of the side. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and then I'll put it in the hard drive. We're gonna plug, uh, I'm sorry, into the hard drive enclosure. We're gonna plug the enclosure in. I'll talk about that, and then I'll show you how to get the data off, okay? So you don't lose all that precious, uh, precious data that my precious, right? That's what's on here, my precious data. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these off and I'm going to stick this in the enclosure and we'll go from there. Man, let me tell you, Toshiba was not messing around when they put those trays on. That was uh, <laughs> that was probably the hardest part of the whole process was getting that tray off, okay? So now that I have it out, right? Like with components, a big thing, uh, earlier I talked about not using power tools because they can be aggressive, they can strip these um, small screws that are used. I mean, these things are really, really, really tiny. Uh, but in addition to that, sometimes it could be good to wear uh, gloves or just make sure you don't touch the components a bunch, especially like the copper uh, parts. You see the copper ends here at the top of the hard drive. Don't be jamming your fingers all over that. You got oils and, and all kinds of other stuff on your hands, dirt, grime, whatever. Uh, don't want to get that on your drive. So, you know, nice, clean hands. And um, if, if it's your first time, like I said, you might want to wear like some gloves or something like that. Uh, that don't leave a lot of residue um, because yeah I, I've been I've I probably take a laptop apart once a week uh, if not once a month so I'm used to where to grab right so there's like parts of the drive you can grab that aren't as big of a deal it's kind of like remember back with CDs you had to hold them a certain way drives it's kind of the same thing you don't want to be just jamming your fingers all over the different areas but now that I have it out what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to stick it inside of the encasement, right? So I'm going to get a nice, nice shot of that so you guys can see. There is a, um, it's grooved down there, a spot where the drive just kind of slides right in. You just got to line it up and get it to slide in, okay? So you'll feel it kind of push down. Don't force it. It'll go down on its own easily. And uh, now it is in there, okay? So I'll take the top of, the, of it here. And again, this is just a... This is like a $25, $30 Amazon buy. Come, It has come in handy. It has definitely been worth the money. I've had th This particular project that we're doing today that you're getting to view, uh, these, hard these hard drives came off of old laptops that we used to use uh, in my home growing up. So my mom gave me a whole box of them and I've just been kind of pulling the drives out, sticking them in the enclosures and then grabbing the data as needed. And I found some good stuff on there. I mean, old pictures, old music, old uh, videos that I had forgotten we had on these old computers that uh, just wasn't backed up because back then I was a kid and um, you know, my parents weren't really worried about stuff like backup. So that's enough of my story. Now you get it. And I'm sure you have something similar. That's why you're doing this. Maybe you've got an old laptop uh, or you need to move to a new laptop because yours died. You don't want to lose the stuff. This right here is our hero in this situation, okay? So there are two ends to this, okay? It's got the part that plugs into your, um, is gonna plug into the wall, your wall outlet. And then it also has a USB end, uh, which I will grab and plug into here, okay? So that end comes off there, USB, plug straight into your computer, and then it's got a power button here where we can turn it on, okay? So I'm gonna do that now, I'm gonna hook it up. I'm gonna power it on and then from the computer, I'm gonna show you how to get that data and move it over to your computer. Okay, so once you have the enclosure hooked up and you have it plugged in, you have the drive in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our file explorer. I'm gonna use Windows key and E, which will immediately take me to my file explorer. Okay, and if I go to the this PC option, I will now see a new drive here that I have access to. So I'm gonna choose that drive and boom. Here are all the files that are on that drive, okay? Including the user folder, okay? So I'm gonna access the user folder, access the user, and here's the data. All the data that would have been lost if I had not recovered and pulled that drive out and stuck it into the enclosure, I now have access to. So let's say I wanted like something from documents or downloads that I did a long time ago. Come in here, find the folder, and drag it over to the corresponding area. So like, let's say I wanted this assignments one, I could drag it over to the documents and boom, there it is, okay? I don't need any of this stuff, so I'm just kind of messing around with this drive, but that's the whole point. You stick it in there, plug it in, you have access to your files, you don't lose anything. 
Now, again, if this video helped you out, please tell me down in the comments. I want to know. I want to know if anybody was able to actually follow these steps, remove their drive, stick it into an enclosure that they bought on like Amazon or whatever and got their data back. That'd be awesome. I'd love to hear about it and share this video with a friend if they're having an issue with this. Again, if they can't get it, their data, their computer died, something's going on with their PC that they can't get the data off the drive, this method may be the way. But always remember, there is better methods out there. There are data recovery centers that'll get your data back. A little bit more uh, assurance there or a little bit more, um, it's just better. They have better equipment. That's, that's what I'm getting at, okay? But if you want to go with this method or you need help recovering your data, please reach out to us here at My Computer Works. We do this all the time. I do this for, for friends and family. Obviously, I was doing this for uh, some family, getting files back. Uh, and I do it all the time for people. If they, I, So I have these enclosures and I do it for myself. I, you know, I also use it to stick drives in and do uh, a whole bunch of different things. Okay. These, these are for more than just data recovery. It's a way to access a drive, take a drive out, put, put it into another computer and do what you need to with it. Okay. So like, let's say you have a computer that goes haywire. You could stick the drive into one of these. You could reOS that way. There's a lot of different things you could do with these enclosures. They're really great to have. Okay. Thank you for watching everybody. If you decide to drop a comment or you loved the video, you liked the video, it helped you out, please hit that like and subscribe down below before you go again. And I will see you all on the next one.